What we did at Red Cross was realise as a result of all these people being stranded because of COVID, that we had to expand rapidly. And so we had a two-pronged approach. We had an approach where we went and found the people. So there was a group of people in Red Cross doing that. And then from a technological perspective, we looked at how can we actually service what our connect centre needs are going to be. And that's where Digital Island and ourselves work quite closely to make sure we're able to scale that very quickly. We have offices in most main centres, so Auckland, Wellington, Hamilton, Dunedin and so forth. But we have around 570 people spread over our 80 locations. DI already provided our first aid contact centre and we had an initiative that was driven by humanitarian aid from the government for stranded foreign nationals, um, part of the COVID issue, people not being able to leave New Zealand. So in doing that, we needed to be able to service those people rapidly and we needed to do it from a lot of agents. So we had to grow rapidly and we grew from around six agents to nearly 90 in a very short period of time. And we couldn't have done that without what DI did both in terms of their people and also the technology they provided to us. Once they understood what our needs were, they then very quickly got down to presenting to us around how they could solve the issue, what was the outcomes, and how they could provide the technology to agents spread around the country, often on using their own PCs, not corporate PCs, and to meet that need quickly. And they were really agile in terms of being able to adapt quickly and make changes on the fly so that we could get things right as we went. In terms of the relationship between Red Cross and Digital Island. We weren't just dealing with the technical guys and the solution designers and all those who were essential in getting what we needed done. We also had the head of um, Digital Island, Leon, came to see us. We had the people in charge of all the product sets that they were doing. So we had to be Ali talking to us and making sure that whatever resources were needed were put onto the project and things were delivered. The key benefits that Digital Island brought to us in, in the Red Cross perspective is their ability to do things quickly. They were able to meet that demand, so they came up with really good ideas. They were able to scale quickly, uh, deliver things from the cloud, which meant we could scale up and down rapidly, and they worked very closely with us to do that as well. Digital Island saw how important it was to make sure this was successful, not just from a technological delivery, because of was real humanitarian issues at the end of it if we couldn't deliver services out to people.